Hello, Dan Adults here from howtomechatronics.com. In this video, I will show you how you can make this awesome LED hard photo frame using Arduino. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary photo frame, but once you click the switch on the back side, it turns into an extraordinary photo frame. Building this Arduino project is very fun and it can be a perfect Valentine, birthday or anniversary present for your loved ones. So let's get started building it. First we need a simple 18 by 13 cm photo frame and a fiber board cut to the size of the frame on which we will make holes for inserting the LEDs. Then we need to draw and print a heart shape with 32 LEDs which will be used as a pattern. We will make the holes for the LEDs using a drill. Once we are done drilling the holes, we will start inserting the LEDs. We need to insert all the LEDs on the same side with the anode or the longer lead pointing outside so that we can bend them and later solder the anodes of all LEDs together. Once we have soldered all LEDs, we should check whether all of them are working properly. For that we need to connect the positive 5V VCC pin to the anodes of the LEDs through a 220 ohms resistor and using the ground pin check each LED whether it will light up. Ok, now let's continue with the electronics part of this project. For that we will need a prototyping PCB, an Arduino Nano, two TLC5940 ICs, some resistors, a power jack, a switch, some IC sockets and pin headers as well as some jump wires. Here's the circuit schematic of this project and you can find a complete list of components needed for this project on my official website. So we will use the Arduino Nano and the two TLC5940 ICs for controlling the LEDs. The TLC5940 is a 16 channel LED driver which provides PWM outputs. You can find more details how to connect and use this IC with the Arduino on my particular Arduino and TLC5940 tutorial. Here first we will insert the IC sockets and the pin headers in place and solder them to the prototyping PCB so that we can attach the ICs and the Arduino Nano to them. We also need two additional pin headers with couple of slots for the power or the 5V VCC and the ground pins as well as two capacitors for decoupling. After this we are ready to connect all the components as shown in the circuit schematic using the jump wires. We need to be very careful when connecting the components because it can be very messy with that much wires if we connect something wrong. At this point we need to upload the Arduino code to make sure that we have connected everything properly. So let's take a look at the Arduino code that I have made for this project. So we will use the TLC5940 library made by Alex Leon. Once we download and install this library, we need to modify the tlc underscore config.h file and change the value of the variable num underscore tlcs to the number of tlc5940 ICs connected in series and in our case that value is 2. With this done, now we can easily address all the LEDs from 0 to 31. At the beginning we also need to define some variables needed for the program. In the setup section we need to initiate the TLCs and in the loop section make the program. I organized the program into 9 different stages or light shows of the LEDs using the switch statement. For example let's take a look at the first stage. We generate random integer values from 0 to 31 and we use them as addresses for the LEDs. The function tlc.set is used for setting which LED will light up. The first parameter is the address of the LED and the second parameter is the value of the brightness of the LED or the PWM value which is from 0 to 4095. However, this won't light up the LED right away, it just sets which LED will light up next when the tlc.update function will be executed. Using this if statement, we activate the second stage after lighting up 8 random LEDs. Now let's take a look at one more example, let's say stage 3. Using this for loop, we set all 32 LEDs to light up when the tlc.update function will be executed. After half a second delay, using the tlc.clear function, we will clear and turn off all the LEDs. So in similar way, you can modify the code and add more light shows on your own. 
Okay, once we are done with the programming and we know that everything works well, we need to secure the LEDs to the fiber board and I did that using a glue gun. Then we need to make a cover box for the electronics using a glue gun and four more pieces of fiber board cut to size. Here's the final appearance of the box and what's left now is to connect the power lines coming from the switch and the power jack which are inserted in the fiber board of the photo frame. Add the photo and secure the whole box to the photo frame. That's all, thanks for watching and for more projects and tutorials visit my official website howtomechatronics.com